What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another reaction. This is going to be another pitch meeting reaction uh, from Screen Rant. These guys do a great job making these funny uh, pitch meeting skits, and uh, I like I like reacting to them. So they're pretty pretty damn cool. I'll leave a link to the original video in the description below. They're awesome. Without further ado, guys, let's watch uh, the Hulk. This is a 2003. This is Ang Lee's Hulk. This is uh, with Eric Bana. Nick Nolte, Jennifer Conley, uh, and also uh, General Ross. You got the mustache. I don't know. Forget his name. He's awesome. Those two. Great. But with this movie, man, had had some good potential. I, I really like the story. Once you watch it a couple times, you kind of it's more of philosophy, philosophical way to put Hulk with little child has some kind of secret in him and the gamma bomb unleashes it and he gets bigger the angrier he gets i mean he gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger just crazy uh we got mutant dogs in there we got his dad which really wanted the hulk serum but his kid got it so he's got resentment against the kid and he tries to create himself a super power being and he just becomes like an absorption man he absorbs everything this is pretty crazy uh, but yeah, I, I like Hulk. He was strong, throwing tanks around like nobody's business. And it was just, I don't know, it was it was cool. But uh, I never really made it into the MCU. So anyway, let's check out this screen pitch, pitch meeting with Universal. No, it's another thing. Universal has the rights to the Hulk. Why aren't they letting Disney and Marvel have the Hulk back? Why is Universal being such bums? I don't get it. Maybe they'll explain it. Who knows? Anyway, guys. If you like these uh, reactions to the screen rant pitch meetings, drop a like. All right, let's go. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I thought we could do a movie about the Incredible Hulk. Oh boy, yes. sounds good to me. I can't wait to see him smash some stuff. I know, cool. right? But you're gonna have to. What? Well, we're not gonna see the Hulk for like the first 45 minutes of the film. Oh, okay. <laughs> so kind of long. Well, maybe yeah. but we're gonna want to give all the brooding a lot of space to breathe. You know, really make this a slow burn. But his thing that smashes things, right? Like his catchphrase is Hulk smash. Yeah. yeah. Well, your Hulk fans will find silent introspection just as fun, if not more i guess that makes sense also a whole lot of made-up science talk and just the most monotone expressionless way you can imagine is our target audience gonna like that oh they certainly are sir because we're gonna edit it like a comic book what does that mean just a bunch of insane transitions <laughs> between everything weird like just a ton of them we're talking wipes and zooms and panels just really make it seem like this is a comic book is that gonna translate <laughs> well to the screen it might and that wacky editing stuff that's gonna match the brooding tone you mentioned who's to say okay so what happened <laughs> Anyway, Who's to say? Meet Bruce Banner, right, and his yeah. girlfriend Betty Ross, and they're both right. scientists working on regeneration. Oh, and what's their deal? Like, what's Bruce's personality like? Oh, well, no, it's not. There's not really one of those here. Oh, okay. Well, what about Betty? No, no, just the blankest slate imaginable. Won't even react to dramatic things happening right in front of her. Straight facing it. Okay, I guess that'll be fun to watch. It might be. Uh, it might be. Talbot, and he really yeah, wants Talbot. to get his hands on the research <laughs> and on Betty. Oh, yeah, he's a real jerk about yeah. it too. He wants to sell all this stuff. <laughs> To the military and make a bunch of money very evil anyway so one day bruce's co-worker makes a big mistake and bruce gets hit with a bunch of radiation uh oh is it okay <laughs> yeah see the thing is bruce's father david did a bunch of experiments on himself back in the day and so bruce's dna is full of wacky stuff okay and so uh, the transferred yeah blast activated that yeah. stuff instead of killing him so he's totally fine despite all the radiation totally fine he's like hey betty remember my bad knee now it's my good knee that kind of implies that his other knee is bad now oh uh, Oh, yeah, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> That's it. So we're going to keep it in anyway. Fair enough. So then later, Bruce <laughs> is going to transform into the Hulk. Oh, Ooh, boy, here, we, here go. we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's going to smash some science. Yeah. And fall asleep at home. Oh, okay. So anyway, Bruce's father has been showing up after being locked in an asylum for 30 years, and he's real interested in Bruce. Oh, he is? And he uses some of Bruce's DNA to experiment on his dogs. That's There's no way that's good. It won't be good. And then that guy Talbot shows up at Bruce's place, and Bruce... <laughs> <laughs> into the Hulk oh hell yeah here yeah we go. here we go and hulk smash to fight the dogs oh. yet uh. David turned them into hulk dogs and sent them after betty so hulk has to go fight the dogs ah. he's gonna fight some hulk dogs hulk so dogs the french poodle so he's gonna have to fight these dogs and it's gonna play out like a cartoon okay then he's gonna shove his fist down one of the dog's throats it's gonna like explode or something <laughs> okay so weird the kind of hulk action that people want to see are people gonna want to see the hulk punch a french poodle uh, yeah i think they will 
will. I get okay. Okay. Who's gets captured <laughs> and put in this underground military bunker place? Right, right, right. And Talbot, who's all messed up now, goes into his cell and starts poking him with a taser. Come rod. on, give me some he of that gamma juice. Room with Bruce, who just beat him up and try to get him turned back into that monster. He is, yeah. Oh, a very dumb strategy. <laughs> Bruce hulks out again, and Talbot's gonna yeah. have his men deploy the containment foam. Sorry, I thought you said containment foam. I did. Those are words that I said. And so now Hulk is gonna be in this containment foam, but then he's gonna get even angrier, so he's gonna start to break out of it. Talbot's gonna shoot an explosive at him, but it's gonna bounce back Boing. and explode next to him. The explosions are tight, with no exception. Tight. It's gonna freeze frame. It's gonna be outlined, and then we're gonna move to a different. Yay, plan. comic oh, transition. Cool. That thing I just said. So now Hulk has to get out of this underground yeah. bunker place. Is that gonna be? <laughs> Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely yeah. an inconvenience. Barely oh, an inconvenience. Yes, Daddy's father, General Ross, is going to be like, yeah. all right, show him to the exit. Let's find right. this guy outside. Daddy, he's just going to straight up put people's lives in danger outside? He will, yeah, because this way we can have Hulk fight some helicopters and some tanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. That does sound fun. That sounds right? fun, yeah, yeah. Up throw a tank See ya. Soldiers like a mile away. Wow, so Bruce kills some people. Oh, no, everybody's fine. Oh, they are. Yeah, literally of course. everybody's fine throughout this entire sequence. Helicopters crash in the safest way possible. Possible. Everyone's okay. Yeah, it seems pretty unlikely. Well, yeah, because if we have Bruce kill some people, it's going to be tough to keep seeing him as the good guy. So everyone's going to survive incredibly life threatening situations with complete ease. Fair enough. At least there's going to be some <laughs> cool Hulk action in this movie. Hulk time. Yeah, Let's go. He's going to stare at some fungus for a while. He's going to oh, stare at him. Okay. Hey. And then Bruce is going <laughs> to stop being angry thanks to the power Woo! of love or something. That usually power does love. solve major problems in movies, sure. So then he gets captured again along with his crazy father. Oh, and how does that go? Oh, well, it turns out that. That his dad has done some more experience. Ah, now, now he can like fuse with anything. He pretty uh, much turns into absorbing man. Absorbing well, man. He like merges with electricity, and then him and uh, Zax. Kind of like, what do you mean? <laughs> well, he's gonna be a bubble. He's gonna be a genie from Aladdin for a minute. Big Hulk's jellyfish. Take it all. To <laughs> Take it back. It's too on. much. Take General it back. Ross is gonna drop a big bomb on them, and Boom. it's gonna seem like they're both dead. Oh wow! But then we're gonna show that a year later, Bruce is actually living in. South America now, and he has a real beard. Don't make me angry. There's a real beard. Well, because the beard is clearly real. It's not a fake beard. It's definitely <laughs> a real. One. Okay. So yeah, it's real. To get to South America after being bombed. Don't worry about it. We're all done now. So what do you think? Well, <laughs> sounds pretty slow pace for a movie about a big green guy that smashes things. Yeah. So, well, yeah. People don't really respond to this one. We could always make a new one in a couple years. That's a good point, and then we'll be sure to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> Edward Norton. Oh, hey guys, great here. stuff. Thanks, Thanks again, Ryan. Fantastic. Fantastic. So yeah, the Edward Norton one. Yeah, he was good. I think I think Edward Norton did a great job as Bruce Banner. He had a thin profile. Good actor. Laid into it really nicely in the movie. I loved it. Hulk, just more shredded, more more vicious, more uh He's just more like, just just savage. You know what I mean? Just savage in that one. And plus the abomination was in it. So definitely getting some more uh, Marvel ties with the uh, Stark Industries was in there with a couple of weapons to go against the Hulk. That was really cool. Uh, General Ross, of course, tied into everything else in the MCU. Why couldn't they continue this? They kind of did, but they just switched actors. Mark Ruffalo, Edward Norton. Uh, looking back at it, I really would wish that Edward Norton would have continued. And then we'd still get this Hulk in the MCU. It would have been cool. Uh, but anyway, She-Hulk is coming out uh, on Disney+, Plus, and it will have The Abomination, as well as She-Hulk and Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Uh, we'll see what happens to Hulk now. Will he have his skinny black arm from uh, Endgame? Will he have a cast still on there? He better not. I swear, if Hulk if Hulk shows up in, in She-Hulk, and he's this limp dude with this crusty little black arm, I might turn the damn thing off. There's been plenty of time between Endgame and She-Hulk where Hulk can regenerate his arm with his healing factor and Gamma back to normal. Or is this TV show going to be like set in the past before everything happens? That'd be crazy. I don't think so. Yeah, I hope not. Anyway, yeah, bring Hulk back to where he should be. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this reaction. Like, subscribe, share, and see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Wrath out. See you guys.